Okay, so we're back on the bench today with a 25-inch Hantarex Polo, complete monitor here, dedicated uh, tube and everything. And I pulled this out of a machine at the arcade because it's been fine forever, and then one day uh, we turned it on and it had an all-white screen. So I just replaced the monitor with a spare one and brought this home, and just now getting around to taking a look at it. Uh, but it's been rebuilt, caps, uh, full reflow, flyback works fine, so there's no reason to replace it, it's the original, but everything else has been done. But it has an all white screen, and no matter how much you adjust the flyback screen pot up and down, or brightness, contrast up and down, nothing makes it uh, go away. Uh, it's just an all white screen with, with raster lines. Now based off my previous experience, I know it's going to be a quick fix, it's only going to be one of two resistors. Uh, R234 next to the flyback, or R40 on the neckboard. One of those two 10 ohm resistors is uh, going to be open, I guarantee it. I have not checked it out yet, uh, so I'm going to share on the camera here, or in focus up you. I'm going to share in the knowledge with you guys when we check it, you know, here on the video. But uh, one of those two resistors is almost guaranteed to be open, and that's what causes an all-white screen. So let's turn it on, and you can see what's happening. Uh, I have a video signal and power. We're all hooked up, ready to go. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, fires up. And here is what it looks like. <laughs> there you go, raster lines, and no matter, see if I turn the screen pot on the flyback, this is all the way down, this is all the way up, all the way down, right, a little bit, about a quarter up. So, yeah, all white screen, nothing I do, adjustment makes it go away. Now, it's one of two issues, almost guaranteed. You have R234 right there. This guy right here. That should be a 10 ohm resistor. And then you have R40, which is right here on the neck board. This guy right here, R40. So you have R40 and you have R234. One of those two is almost guaranteed to be open. So let's just get the meter and test those real quick and see if one of those is open. All right, so we're on the bench here again, sans tube, <laughs> if you will. I uh, got my meter here, but ohms, okay, so 234 is down in here next to the flyback, so we'll have to grab it on the bottom side, which is right uh, here, so we should have 10 ohms for 234, 10.1, okay, so now we go to R40 on the neck board, which again is right here, this guy here, and we're going to test it from the back side to get a better reading on it. And it's over here. And what do we get on our 40? Hopefully it's bad because the other one was good. And what do we get? We get, oh, there you go, R40. Zero. Open. Absolutely zero. Leads are good. There you go. R40 is open. So there's your problem. All right, now if we do the same thing on this donor neck board over here, you can clearly see that if we go to R40 on this one, which again is right here, if we go to R40 on this one, we get 10.2. We go to R40 on this one and we get nothing. So there you go, boys. Um, let's get this R40 out of here. I'm gonna turn my fan on. Oh, still a little charge in there. All right. Let's grab this sucker out of here, and we'll test it out of the chassis, and again, leads are good, and the resistor is, oh, in the mega ohm, look at that.
So 12.14 meg, meg ohm. We're in a 13, approaching 13 meg ohm. So that's a far cry from 10 ohms. I'm going to take this, throw it in the garbage. There it goes. Let's grab the one from this donor chassis. Or donor neck board, I should say. Not going to waste our desoldering braid on that. So just pop this out real quick. There it is. Now if we measure this one, we get 10.2. All right, so we will put this back on the part shelf. We will take this and clean that up. And get this in here. Ah, oh, damn it. Only a matter of time before that happened. <laughs> I broke the plastic tab on the back of this, so that's going to get... Uh, I can probably tape it back on. That's no big deal. Let's line this up and make sure that we're okay. That'll, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Now let's get it on the proper side here. Hachi machi. Okay. And eh. let's beef that up. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Well. Let's see if that makes any difference. Oh, well, that's not good. Focus wire just broke off. <laughs> I'm telling you, handling these things is always a nightmare because things like that happen. You gotta be careful when you do this stuff because this stuff is always happening. Where are my, right here in front of me, I'm getting too old. Probably have to do it from this side. Well, building with two buildings, one of whom is balding. Okay, now let's take this and we will add a little bit of flux because there's enough wire exposed and there's plenty of solder left on this piece here and we can just there we go now okay that will work no, it won't. <laughs> That'll work. And then it doesn't. Come on, you. Now you float in there, you rat bastard. Let's put a little more on there. There we go. Wait for it to cool down. Okay. That's good. All right. Now, take two with this thing. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll put this through here. And then I'll take some, uh, some clear packing tape, which of course fell off the roll here. Always something. Okay. Let's tape this back on here.
I used to have you in a photograph. I'm so glad it's changed. But now I've got you and it's gonna last. Do you believe in love? Do you believe it's true? Oh, you're making me believe it too, girl. Wee you, wee you, wee you. Wee you, wee you, wee you. Okay, anything else break from moving around? No, ribbon cable's good. Ribbon cable's good. All right. Let's hook it back up to the tube and see if that fixed our issue. All right, so here we go. All hooked back up. R40 has been changed out. As we saw, it was bad. New one's good. So let's see if that fixes our all-white screen. One, two, three. Okay. Comes right on. What do we get? I have not adjusted anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, imagine that. So there you go. If you ever come across a Henrix Polo that's all white screen with the raster lines and you can't, nothing happens when you turn the screen pot, or very little changes, uh, there you go. R40, open. Man, that looks good. God, the Henrix Polos, the, the picture tubes on the Polos really just kind of outdo everything else in my opinion. When you have a really nice working Polo and the good, good tube, it just looks so good. Man, it's a little dark. Man, needs to, needs to, uh, yeah, it's a little dark. I gotta turn the fly back up a little bit. Uh, that's better. Maybe a little too much. We'll turn our brightness down. And we're a little too blue. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Um, should have been should have been good from when I had it set from the game it came out of but anyway yeah what do you think I gotta say all right well, I gotta say it looks good anyway <laughs> I kind of drifted off there but uh, yeah open R40 causing an all white screen with raster lines so if you have that that problem you know it's either R234 I believe it was or R40 so yeah quick and easy fix uh, thanks for watching hopefully you learned something uh, I wanted to put this out there because I knew it was going to be something easy. It's always either one of those two in my past experience, but I don't, I don't think it's been documented, so I wanted to document it. Um, otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.